Philip Godot Ministries presents A Father's Heart with Dr. Philip Godot. He's a pastor, man of God, with more than 30 years in ministry, and Dr. Brenda K. Godot, the First Lady of Calvary Christian Center, teaching the uncompromising Word of God. Today's message... you got to understand that even though I have made the commitment to prioritize or organize my life around God first, I still have to fight against those competing spirits that's trying to break my focus or get me off track. Dr. Philip Godot. Don't forget to take out your smartphones and tablets and tweet and post during today's message. Matthew, the sixth chapter, Matthew, the sixth chapter, you watching by television and the internet, also which you turn with is Matthew 6. I told you that I'm going to wear you out this year, and eventually this sometime this year, your Bible is going to open automatically to Matthew, the sixth chapter. Amen. So I'm teaching a series of messages on the keys to living in the kingdom of God. Keys to living in the kingdom. Now, you know what I'm tired of is, is people who call themselves Christians, but have no manifestation of their Christian life or walk or experiencing the king's blessing upon their life. There's a lot of people who love God, but are not experiencing God's supernatural miracle working power in their life. All of us agree. All of us agree that God is a big God. He can do anything, but a very few Christians have the experience of God manifesting his miracle working power on their behalf. Well, I know the keys to the kingdom that I can help you to be able to have a year like no other. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I'm, absolutely, I'm going to work you over and I'm going to drive you in to the blessings of God or you're going to run from me one or the other. <laughs> But we're gonna, I'm going to hopefully make a positive difference in your life this year. But I have to work it. So when it says keys to the kingdom, I, I'm, my foundational scripture is going to be in Matthew, the sixth chapter. But I got 20 keys or more that I'm going to teach on this year to drive it into you. And hopefully I can get at least most of you to open up at least one door this year. Hope maybe a couple of y'all might open up a couple of doors, but it's going to take the key to the kingdom. And we'll talk more about that and get more into it. So look with me in Matthew, the sixth chapter, if you will, please. Matthew, the sixth chapter in verse 33, which uh, all of us are familiar with, but we're going to keep working it. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of what? God. Of God and his righteousness and then all these things, things shall be added unto who? Yeah. Not somebody else. It's only going to be added to the one who is doing the seeking, the one who is going after seeking first the kingdom of God. Now, the word seek there, it means to crave, to hunger, or to desire strongly. So he's just not talking about looking in a direction or walking in a direction. He's saying there's a strong hunger or craving, a desire to seek. So he says, seek first, what? The kingdom. So that word seek first, God says, I want you, that first represents uh, prioritizing. So what God is saying, I want you to prioritize your life around me. I want to be first. I want you to seek first the kingdom of God. I want you to prioritize your life around me.